So on off button, you just press and hold that switch is it on or off. If you can see inside this little green light, yep. that's to say it's on. Yep. I just click on that or click on the grey button, just lights it up to show you what's up and running. So it's actually selected, it's selection is actually electric at the moment and that's your temperature range. If I, if I want to change that, so if I want to say select gas or battery or 12 volts which is coming from the car, press and hold that until you see that flash. So that's flashing now, I can press the arrow left or right to select or the battery or select gas. So I'm going to confirm okay. gas, so then actually your temperature range, so all five lit, that's the coldest it's going to be. So that's your coldest setting. Right. So you okay. press arrow left or right. So if you think that that's a better setting, click to confirm it. It will just show you gas and the temperature or the or the setting that the energy you've selected. Okay. And then you'll see that go to sleep. So this ga gas will be automatically lighting now. It will let you let you know if it fails. So obviously that's fired up. Okay. But what I'll do, I'll just put it onto battery now, just to show you failure, because I know the battery's not connected or the car's not connected either. Right, see now that's both of them is flashing now, and you should see a red light inside the switch. Yep. That means there's a failure to connect to whatever energy is selected. Okay. So obviously, car's not connected. That's what the 12 volt is. So that, oh, that, it's not, volt the, it's not your laser battery. It's ah. off the car. So the grey side of that electrics you've got, <coughs> that's feeding yep. or can feed fat power to this. Right. So obviously, it recognises it's not there. Yep. If he's okay. doing that on the gas, yeah. that means the gas hasn't lit. Okay. Okay. So obviously, there may be. Uh, reasons for you haven't turned your gas on, yeah. or you haven't got gas, yeah. or there may be air in the system. So all you do is just press and hold, switch, it, switch the whole fridge off, yeah. check them things, yeah. and look, if it's, you know, check if I've got gas. Well, yeah. So with, you could just fire your cooker, just make sure you've got gas running. Yeah. All you do, give it about a minute, press and hold, switch it back on again, yeah. it re-attempts to light it. Yeah. Okay, it may fail again, so yeah. it, it probably got a bit of air in the system then, so it's trying to purge the air out. So switch mm -hmm. it off again, leave it a minute. Yeah. Switch it on again. Okay. It, hopefully, it should light after about two or three attempts. Yep. Okay. Okay. So if I just press and hold that now, I'll just set it back to electric. Most people tend to run on electric. Yeah. If they've got that that yep. uh, option. Okay, but you got to you got to switch this to battery when the yeah when you're traveling when you're traveling yeah. you switch it back to mains or whatever. Yeah, when yeah. you get to site. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it, right. On on the twelve volt side of it, it's not going to cool your fridge down. It just maintain the temperature it's in it. So if you if you uh -huh. can cool it down overnight before you travel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you switch the battery yeah. before you leave, and then that will, yeah, that will maintain the temperature. Obviously, as long as you're not opening and shutting the door, is the yeah. Along. So I'll just uh, make a note about that to be checklist. Yeah. Okay. Cool fridge down. Yeah. So if you've got this at home, and you can plug before in electrics. Traveling. Yeah. So you can cool it down. Otherwise, if you're in storage and you can't connect electric to it, you can put either these cooler box or my wife tends to freeze um, chilies oh, and things yeah. like that and put that mm. in the fridge. Just to have enough in there that you can need for when you get mm. there or the first meal or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You can have a pack of put bacon or milk. Put frozen food in there. Mm. Sorry? Fru like yeah. freezer food yeah, so you're going to eat the next day. Yeah, food in there and then yeah. it's throwing it out as it's going along. Yeah. So when you get there, you... It's a good idea. Yeah, you've got to count for the weight there. Oh, well, God. Yeah, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> yeah. Wait. So don't put too much heavy stuff or no. food in. Yeah, don't do what my wife, wife did last time. I tried to tell her that she put the, the whole food for the week in, in the van. You know, it, we could carry that weight, but it's like, well, that's extra weight for my fuel consumption as I'm going down the road. I've got extra food and stuff like that. We, there are shops in Wales, I try to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah, <laughs> you can buy things in Wales. <laughs> but, right, yeah. so you're happy with that, yeah? Yep. So, just switch it off and just press and hold that. And see the lights go out. Yep, that's, that's it. Off. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, cooker. Nothing too complicated. You've got a 12 volt igniter button there. Oh, that's good. You've also obviously got the electric plate as well. Oh. Okay. Okay. So That's what you've also good. got is that. So you've got a safety cut off on that. Obviously, don't rely on that to make sure that is cold to put the no. glass down. Because if that one's been running for a while, that takes a while for it to cool down. So just make sure everything's cool before you put that down. But if it's not fully back, obviously it's got switches in here that shuts the gas off. So if you're trying to operate it and there's nothing happening, uh -huh. just make sure that's right. fully back. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. same, same with the grill. Same with the oven. Grill pan. You've got the handle inside there. So is this? Gas only? Yes. Gas the only, only electric you've got on your cooker is that ring. ring. So yeah, so it's gas. Cooker gas. is gas. Yeah. yeah.